Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I showed you how I created this set of nails using some new acrylic powders that I received from Miss You Beauty. So there's a new thing, um, a few things sorry that I should explain now with the Miss You Beauty website. You um, can no longer buy Miss You Beauty products on the Miss You Beauty website. There is a new website and it's called Shop Beautiful. Um, you can still use my discount code, which is Beautified10. However, the discount code is not available to use on the Shop Beautiful website. It is now only available on the Miss You Beauty website, which only will be selling May May and May Lee products. So you can still use my discount code, but only on May May and May Lee products, if that makes sense. So, um, so unfortunately on the products that I use today, my Beautified 10 discount code will not be um, available for you to use. So there you go. So I will leave you the links to everything that I use in the description box below. So I shall get right into the video. So to start off with, I'm just applying these tips to my nails. I have pushed back my cuticles and I have buffed my natural nails in preparation for um, the application of acrylic nails. I cut down these nails and I go and um, create a stiletto shape. I'm just applying my primer to my nails here um, and I have already dehydrated them. I've used a little bit of acetone just to make sure that the acrylic stays on. So I've got eggplant here. I've got Starlight, which I used in a video a couple of weeks ago. I've got one of the core powders, Nude 03, and a powder that is no longer on the website, and it's called Gemma's Love. It's one of my all-time favourite colours. It's such an amazing colour, and I'm gutted that they don't do it anymore. However, there you go. So even though this colour is no longer on the website, they do have some other beautiful colours on the Shop Beautiful website, so check those out. I'm using a size 8 brush. Um, I need to get a bigger one, however, I'm using a size 8 one at the moment. That's all I have. I am purchasing a new one, but, you know. So I went in and I was attempting a marble nail here with the glitter and the purple, it didn't come out quite right on this thumb. However, on my other thumb, it came out a lot better. So I should have filmed that one, but I didn't. So I'm just going in with Nude 03 at the top of the nail, just um, just patting it and um, patting it down the nail so it looks like a little bit of an ombre style. Just patting it around the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush. And then I move on to my forefinger. So... Uh, with the acrylic colour powder eggplant and starlight again I'm doing like um, a marbling effect so you work with the acrylic powders quite wet so that it's um, it's movable around the nail just to get the right design didn't exactly go according to how I really wanted it but I was quite happy with it because the glitter just really really makes it stand out and I really love this um, colour here eggplant I think it's really perfect for this time of year really really beautiful colours and so easy to work with I love them so that's what I do on my forefinger so then on my middle finger I go in with Gemma's love can you see that that beautiful glitter in that colour there. I was so glad that I managed to get this before they um, got rid of it off the website. It really is one of my favourite colours. It's so just, it's so bright and lovely. So then with eggplant, I go in in the middle part of the nail and I just, um, I just pat that out. So it's just fade it down the nail there and fade it up the nail. And then with starlight, I just go at the tip of the nail and I just drag it up the nail um, and it just it just makes that glitter really pop when I pop it over the eggplant there. It's really beautiful. So then on my ring finger, I go in with another ombre um, style nail or like a baby boomer, but with glitter at the bottom. So I do the glitter or starlight, sorry, at the tip of the nail, just drag that up halfway up the nail. 
And then with nude zero three, I then go in with um the middle of the nail, just pat that down, just drag it down the nail so it looks perfectly blended. And then I go in around the cuticle area, so it's a bit like the three bead method. I had to do it this way because, like I said, my brush is a bit smaller and my nails are longer. So I am in the process of purchasing a number 12 brush, which should make things a heck of a lot easier for me. So, um, also, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going in around the cuticle area, just trying not to get it on my cuticles because obviously then I will get lifting, which is the biggest pain in the backside ever. Um, just patting it and cleaning up the cuticle area. And then on my little finger, I go in with eggplant at the bottom, at the tip of the nail, drag that up the nail. And then I go in with starlight around the cuticle area and, um, and pop that down the nail again. My favourite ombre style. Just beautiful. This glitter is so sparkly. The thing is, the camera does not do it justice. It kind of looks a little bit dull here, but um, on my pictures at the end of the video, you will see that it is not dull. It's so, so beautiful. So then what I do, once I've completed that nail, I go in with my clear acrylic powder and liquid and encapsulate all those nails. So, um, so guys, I just as a, uh, a little note, off subject here I am looking into getting some new acrylic um, powders just looking into some new brands um, so I was tempted to buy some starter kits from some new different brands and um, if you can think of any if you'd like me to try any out and you know um, record my thoughts and film it for my videos then that's what I'll be doing I'm just testing out a few different products few different companies just to see because I really love Miss You Beauty but um, I'd like to branch out so if you've got any ideas of who I should try if you find anything that really works for you any companies that you really like obviously I've tried Glitter Bells um, I have purchased some acrylic powders, a, an acrylic starter kit from um, Candy Coat. So, yeah. So, if there's any that you can think of that you think I might like to try, then let me know and I will hunt them down and give them a go. So, with my e-file, I'm just going around the cuticle areas just making sure that there will be no lift in there of the acrylic and then I buff away any lumps and bumps and make sure that that is all lovely and smooth, ready for top coat.
And so it's the best part of the video, top coat application. So I'm using Nanwipe UV Gel Top Coat to uh, apply the gloss to those nails. How amazing, the acrylic really shines through. So I cure that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and then I apply my cuticle oil and I am done. So I will pop some pictures on at the end for you all to check them out. So thank you so much for watching my video this week guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did as always please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.